Listen closely, because what you're about to hear is older than scripture, older than temples, older than the religions that shape the world. And before we begin, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, because stories like this aren't meant to be hidden. Before the first temple rose from stone, before the first scripture tasted ink, the world whispered a story older than time, a story of a woman untouched, a womb filled with light, and a child born with footsteps that echoed across civilizations. Egypt called him Horus. Persia named him Zoroastra. India saw him in its avatars. Greece breathed him into Plato. Mesoamerica carved him as cute Zolkotl. Different lands, different tongues, one miracle, repeating like a cosmic heartbeat. But nature moves to a different rhythm. Human life begins in the quiet choreography of cells. Meiosis divides the ancient thread of chromosomes, weaving half of a story from the mother and half from the father. No egg awakens without the spark of a second genome. No sun forms without the whisper of a Y chromosome. No sperm, no matter how divine in myth, can enter the world without passing through the sacred gates of maturation. Spermatogenesis as sheeps it. Capacitation empowers it, imprinting assigns its fate. Without these rituals of creation, the embryo sleeps forever in possibility and never becomes flesh. Yet the ancients were not speaking of flesh. Their virgin births were poems carved into myth. The untouched mother was not a woman, but a symbol, the mind untainted, the soul unbroken. Science draws its lines clearly. No paternal genome means no conception. No capacitation means no union. No Y chromosome means no son. No imprinting means no life. But myth does not bow to molecules. It paints truth in symbols, not cells. And the immaculate conception survives not because the body can do what biology forbids, but because the soul can do what logic cannot explain. So the story lived on through papyrus, through stone, through scripture, through centuries, if this opened your mind, like the video. Share it, subscribe for more forbidden stories and forgotten histories, and remember, never stop asking questions, never stop researching, and never stop seeking the truth hidden beneath the stories we think we know.